Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Um, tonight I'm going to do a layered security test. I was asked a couple of weeks ago to uh, test these three programs put together to see how they would uh, work. First off we have Microsoft Security Essentials, then we have uh, Immunet Protect which is a cloud-based AV, and then we have Threat Fire which is a behavior analysis. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pause the video. It's going to take a while to install these because they have to be updated and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to install them. And then I'll be back when um, I'm all done with this stuff. So I'll see you guys when I'm all done. Okay, so <clears throat> I got everything installed and updated. You can see everything's good to go. I have uh, 10 fairly fresh, probably within the last 24 hour links. See what happens here. Everything's been left stock. Nothing, none of the settings have been changed. This is would be if you just installed it. Hmm. Must have copied down the wrong link there. I thought that was an EXE. And that first one I didn't see anything. None of the none of these popped up. So we'll have to check it out. This is must be a rogue. So we're gonna let that download. with that one. Uh, threat fire was left on number three in the settings instead of I didn't up the uh, the settings at all on it like I said I'm sure you'd get a lot more responses out of it if uh, you brought up the settings but I just want to test it just like it would be when you install it Peter's definitely running slow now for some odd reason I got that popped up. That wasn't there before. So what I'm going to do right now, instead of wasting time... Uh, okay, oh, finally, something. Okay, 96, yep, that was the one we just installed, or downloaded. That one right there. Okay, and it quarantined something, so that's good. Oh. Killing quarantine. Okay, this is B2. That's the one way from before. Oh. Okay. It's 96 again, and it seems to be continuously popping up. See if it's stuck in Okay, I don't 
don't see it there at all. So 96 must be gone. Okay, that got blocked. So far I haven't seen anything from uh, MSC, Microsoft Security Essentials. definitely crunching away that's for sure looks like that one's dead yep okay so let's see here okay so we got some stuff running here Microsoft Security Essentials seems to be doing a scan either doing a scan or it's doing something so let's see if it really is a scan if it really was a scan it would stop when I turn that off okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a scan of the computer with Immunet and Microsoft Security Essentials and then I'll be back to show you the results so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials and Immunet Protect both finished their scans and they say they found nothing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go online, download Malwarebytes, just like I normally do, and do a scan with that. So I'll be back when that's done. See you in a second. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here and let's see what I found. Okay, it uh, found a couple of, uh, found one thing that got through here. It says uh, Adware Best Link. We got a program file here. Let's see if it's. I don't see it here at all. Got some registry key changes. Um, these didn't do bad. You know, uh, Adware is one thing where uh, depends on who makes the scanner, if it gets by or not. Um, let's check it out and see if it's in here. It doesn't look to be active. It looks like it a DLL and some registry key changes. So it must have stopped the major part of the stuff, uh, part of the program for installing here. So real quick. Yeah, there it is. So it, it's there, but I don't see anything, I don't see it running. Hopefully, uh, the C malware bytes doesn't even catch all of it yet. There's still parts left. But that's okay. Um, for some free programs, it did pretty good. Um, I'll give these three programs, this layered security approach, these three put together 7, 8 out of 10. It could have done a little bit better, but it could have been a lot worse. They do have high memory usage, which I don't like. Um, you can see right here, I mean, just Microsoft is using 71 megs. It's kind of high. Uh, Malwarebytes doesn't count. Yeah, different ones right here, so it's got high memory usage, but didn't do bad. All right, I'm going to uh, render this and upload it, and I'll talk to everybody later.